Hello everyone, my name is Christian St. Pierre. I'm a registered acupuncturist at Axis Acupuncture in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, an executive level certified balance method practitioner, and a faculty member of the Academy of Acupuncture in San Diego, California. I wanted to share a BADSA case study with you today, namely Tiger Woods' February 23rd, 2021 car crash. What's interesting about BADSA is that it gives us insights into health and wellness, as well as events which people may have had in their past or may end up having in the future. And these events are basically tied to the qualities of chi and the relationship between a person's prenatal chi and the chi of the moment in time. So this is Tiger Woods' natal chart, also known as his Bodza chart. He was born on December 30th, 1975 in Long Beach, LA at 10.55 p.m. So these eight characters right here are the Bodza or the eight characters that make up Tiger Woods' chart. So the top characters here are the heavenly stems and the bottom characters are the earthly branches. And the branches are where we get our Chinese horoscope animals from. So he was born in a rabbit year. He was born on a rat month, on a dog day, and in a pig hour. Each branch also has their own elements associated with them. So the rabbit branch is a wood branch, yin wood. The rat branch is a water branch, the dog branch is an earth branch, and the pig branch is a water branch. Each branch also has a heavenly stem associated with it, and those heavenly stems have their own elemental values as well. For instance, the uh, year of the rabbit of that Tiger Woods was born in was actually a yin wood year. The month was a yang earth month. The day was a yang metal day. And the hour was a yin fire hour. So what we could do is we can actually lay all of this out on a five pointed star and we can actually see what the values and quantities of each of these elements are. So the top row is the stems. The middle row is the branches. And then the bottom row is what we call the hidden stems. Those are little extra bits of the five element energies that come with some of the branches. And just by looking at it, we can actually tell right whether or not this particular chart makes Tiger Woods have a strong chart or a weak chart. And that's always determined by the day stem right here. So the day stem is yang metal, okay, which is why we put that at the top of the pointed star right here. And so we want to know, was he a strong day stem chart or a weak day stem chart? Turns out he is a weak day stem chart. What does that mean? Well, it means that the elements that actually nourish the stem element of the day stem are helpful to him. Okay, so he has a yang metal day stem, which means that earth is useful to him. Metal, of course, is useful to him. And based on certain Bodza concepts, fire is also useful to him, interestingly enough. On the other hand, water is harmful to him because water drains metal. And wood is also harmful to him because wood weakens metal through its uh, need to be controlled by it. Another piece of important information for this particular case study is that the tiger branch is known as a kongwang or an empty or dead branch for tiger woods. Everyone has their own kongwang. For tiger woods it happens to be tiger. How interesting. Now every chart also has what we call a lifetime progression. So the lifetime progression is a decade by decade flavoring of chi, if you will. Every decade gets its own heavenly stem and its own earthly branch. And then that actually adds to the elements in terms of uh, the chart or in terms of his whole 
makeup. So those are uh, shown by the small circles right here. Okay, so he has a yang wood stem and a yang metal branch. So that means that this decade that he is currently in is kind of a 50-50, a so-so decade, right? He's got some helpful energy and he's got some harmful energy during this particular decade. Now, February 23rd, 2021 was the day that Tiger Woods had his accident. Uh, it was between 7 and 9 a.m. in the morning. So that puts the time at actually dragon time. Every particular calendar date has its own eight character quality to it. So February 23rd, 2021 happened to be a yin metal ox year. It was a yang metal tiger month, a yang water tiger day, and a yang wood dragon hour. Each particular calendar date also has its own Kongwang. And so on February 23rd, 2021, the empty or dead branch was actually the dragon branch. This matters because the hour that the crash occurred was one of those empty dead branches. We can also lay out the five elements on the five pointed star here and see overall what the uh, elements were, what kind of a day it was for a tiger. Was it supposed to be a helpful day, a harmful day? And we can see that initially it started off as what seems to be a more helpful day than not. There was more metal um, and there was also a little bit of earth. But when you learn Bodza, you learn that the configuration of the water actually made water the strongest element uh, in this particular date and time for Tiger. And that's a harmful element, actually. Now, every pillar has a particular relevance to uh, different aspects of our lives. So the hour pillar is what we call the outside pillar. And it relates to things that are outside of ourself. The day pillar is the self and health pillar. And that, of course, relates to ourselves and our health. The month pillar is known as the home pillar. And the home pillar can relate to our house, but it's also uh, to our resources, to our uh, the things that protect us, uh, our defenses, etc., and etc. The calendar date and the natal chart of a person interact with one another in various ways. One of the ways they interact is they actually can kind of combine and produce other elements that are not necessarily found directly in the chart. So on February 23rd, 2021, Tiger Woods' interaction with the calendar date actually ended up producing a little bit of earth, a little bit of metal, and a little bit of wood. So production is one of the things we look for when we're looking at uh, the charts and their interactions. Something else we look for is the conflicts that appear in a chart. For example, the month stem in Tiger Woods' natal chart is Wu, which is Yang Earth. And his lifetime progression, his decade stem, is Jia, which is Yang Wood. And on the hour of Dragon, so between 7 and 9 a.m. on February 23rd, 2021, was also a Jia stem, which is Yang Wood. We know that Yang Wood controls Yang Earth, and that's shown by these big arrows right here. So Yang Wood was strongly controlling the Yang Earth in Tiger Woods' natal chart, both from a sort of external decade perspective, as well as the calendar date itself. So what does that mean? Well. Yang Wood is often associated with action and impulsivity and we, the gallbladder, of course, whereas Earth is often associated with stillness and stability and the digestion of information. So what this ends up showing is Wood controlling Earth in this way can show impatience, it can show acting without thinking. And so this is one of the ways in which the Wood was playing a harmful role on Tiger Woods' helpful earth. Now, just as the stems can have conflicts, the branches can have conflicts as well. 
there are three major conflicts between the calendar date and Tiger Woods' chart. The first being dragon conflicting with dog. Dragon and dog are on opposite sides, if you will, of the calendar. And so they often butt heads and they create conflict. And the tiger and the monkey actually also uh, are on opposite sides and they create conflict. They create what's called a chong or a clash. So we have the dragon clashing with the dog and we have the tiger clashing with the monkey. We also have a punishment between monkey and tiger. That's, that's another interaction that they have which is generally negative. So we have these three fairly significant clashes happening. What's more is that these clashes are happening with what we call kongwang or empty and dead branches. So that actually makes this type of clash more severe. Okay, It makes it more likely to cause a serious negative effect. We also have the hour pillar of the calendar completely in conflict. Okay, we've got two, the, both the stem and the branch, completely in conflict um, in the hour pillar. So that means that something pretty serious is going to happen outside the house. We also have the dayun or the lifetime progression, the decade, also completely in conflict. That points to something relatively serious occurring uh, in any part of Tiger Woods's um, general life and well-being. So how can we look at these types of clashes and conflicts? Well, each branch actually has a correspondence to the eight trigrams. When we look at it through the prenatal arrangement, it follows a nice sequence of the most yin trigram gradually having yang build up to the most yang and then the yin gradually building up again until it's the most yin. This is useful because zi, which is associated with the winter solstice, is the most yin time of year, and wu, which is associated with the summer solstice, is the most yang time of year. And we have the most yin trigram at the bottom and the most yang trigram at the top, or the most yin trigram associated with winter solstice and the most yang trigram associated with summer solstice. As we continue through the months this way, we just follow along with the trigrams. So the tiger branch right here is actually associated with the trigram of thunder. The dragon branch here is associated with the trigram of lake. The monkey branch here is associated with the trigram of wind. And the dog branch here is associated with the trigram of mountain. And those are the four branches that are in conflict with one another, if you'll recall. Each trigram has particular associations uh, with them, particular correspondences. And those correspondences, therefore, can get transferred over into these branches. In fact, they are connected. So thunder, as an example, is uh, associated with the legs and the feet. Sudden violent symptoms, if we're looking at it medically. Lake is associated with the mouth and teeth, and notably with external injuries. Wind is associated with the hips, the legs, and the shin bones in particular, and unstable conditions. Mountain and the dog, therefore, are associated with the joints, the spine, and chi stagnation and blood stasis. So when these trigrams are imbalanced, then these are the particular correspondences that could occur. And we know that there is a clash between tiger and monkey occurring. We know that there is a clash between dragon and dog occurring. And not only that, but tiger and dragon are kongwang, they're empty and dead, which means that the imbalances are actually quite severe. So what does all of this amount to? Well, it amounts to the wood controlling earth aspect of the day leading to impatience and acting without thinking on Tiger's part. And the clashes between the branches lead to a sudden violent external injury outside the house due to impatience affecting the lower limbs. We say outside the house because that is where the full pillar conflict is. 
And of course, this unfortunately is what came to pass for Tiger. He had a severe accident outside the house. He was driving very fast, so perhaps impatiently or impulsively. And uh, the major injuries were to his lower limbs, to his legs. Now, Tiger's very lucky. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. There is a lot of potential for uh, multiple of these heavenly stems to have been in conflict. But due to the nature of some aspects of his chart, the, those conflicts end up, ended up not happening. So he's very lucky in that sense. But that is how we can use Baza to analyze a significant uh, event, and we can use it to either look at things in the past, but we can also use it to understand risky or dangerous times, uh, either um, to our health or our well-being, that may come up in the future. And had Tiger Woods known ahead of time that perhaps, you know, this was a dangerous time for him, then he may have been able to avoid the accident, perhaps by taking his time, or perhaps by uh, staying home, or perhaps by using some five element remedies. All of these things are remedies that Bodza can point out and uh, can recommend to uh, patients. So that is this short case study. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning Bodza, then uh, you can visit the Academy of Acupuncture.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.